Hi, I'm John Ombler, the Acting Chief Executive of the Canterbury Earthquake Recovery Authority. If you've been driving around the city lately, you would have noticed changes to the traffic patterns, especially around the hospital area. That's because the first two projects of an accessible city have started. Accessible City is the transport chapter of the Christchurch Central Recovery Plan. There is now no entry to Hagley Avenue at the Hagley Moorhouse intersection. This change is key to reducing traffic congestion at Hospital Corner. In the long term, 12,000 fewer vehicles will use this intersection. Chewham Street has been progressively altered to a one-way eastbound route. Oxford Terrace near the hospital will be closed to city-bound traffic next month. I know from driving around the city myself that these changes cause disruption. They may take some getting used to. To keep yourself up to date with what is happening, you can check out the website that's on the screen now. Property clearances are now well underway in the Port Hills. More than 700 properties in the Port Hills were red zoned due to the life risk from rock roll or cliff collapse. Of course, clearing properties in the Port Hills is far more complex than properties on the flat land. Innovative techniques to re reduce risk to people carrying out this work include the use of remote controlled excavators, mobile cranes and unmanned aerial vehicles to assess houses on unstable land. Of the 700 red zone properties, 489 are currently eligible for a Crown purchase offer, which expires at the end of February next year. So far, 366 homeowners have accepted the offer. If you want to discuss the offer process, you can call us at Sarah, and we'll make sure you have all the information you need before you make a decision. No doubt you will have seen the 2.5 metre tall giraffes around town, like the one behind me. There are a total of 49 of these, and they'll be occupying our streets, parks and public places from now until the 24th of January, when they will be auctioned for charity. They add a lot of life and colour to our city. Enjoy them. The website for the official trail map can be seen on the screen now. And with the school holidays coming up, why not make a fun safari day and go giraffe hunting? All of this information and much more will be in your copy of the Greater Christchurch Recovery Update, which will be in your letterbox this weekend. This is the last time that the publication will be in this format. From February, there'll be a new joint publication produced by SERA and the Christchurch City Council known as the Future Christchurch Update. It'll be a bigger and brighter publication, still bringing you all the information that you need to know. It has been a very busy year with a lot of change in the city. We at CERA are very proud of the progress the community is making in both the physical and the social recovery of this great place. We wish you a very, very pleasant and safe Christmas and we look forward to a great 2015.